Hey y'all, I'm actually a uh, crazy thing happened. I underestimated the space that 4k takes up I thought I had calculated everything correctly, but unfortunately I didn't so what I had to do is I had to go home and make the first part of this the whole video I thought it was gonna be one straight video, but instead it's actually gonna be in parts I don't know how many parts yet. I'm thinking maybe three to four max Then again, there's that possibility where I might want to make more videos for y'all of San Antonio but I'm also not going to go too far with the videos in the sense that I'd love for y'all to experience Texas for yourself, especially San Antonio. I am actually on the 1604. Yes, it's crazy because the freeways here, you're able to go 70 miles per hour. And I think in Texas, um, I forget how far it is, maybe like 20 minutes, there's a freeway that you are able to go 80 to 85 miles per hour. It's the fastest freeway in the U.S. So, we're going back to La Cantera. I'm gonna show you around. Hey, hope you enjoy. So, in fact, y'all didn't know, which of course not, you're not here yet. This is literally a mall that you can drive through. Yes, and the parking is on both sides. That is really cool to me. And there's like Zoomies, Vans, uh, Zara. Golly, I just saw Overa Bradley. That's what the name was. Cheesecake Factory is right over here. Palenque Grill. And just a, bu a bunch of other like Texas stuff that, you know, you would have to come see. There's Yard House. There's different things, the residences. If you want to live here, kind of think of like the Americana at Brand, but definitely a lot cheaper. <laughs> nowhere near the price so in case y'all see in the sky there is a storm a brewing so in that case again I'm a Texan so who cares you know that's there's people eating at the restaurants right now they know the storm's coming they're eating outside it doesn't phase them the crazy thing that I'm about to show y'all is this is the, the shops at La Cantera right Right? Okay. I just drove through. Right behind La Cantera is Six Flags Fiesta Texas. Yes, I said that right. Six Flags Fiesta Texas. Okay. <laughs> that is just beautiful. A mall that's connected to Six Flags. I mean, it, it, it blows my mind. I just had to capture this for y'all. This is just, this is beautiful, right? At least for me. <laughs> so this is one of the beautiful, beautiful hotels here, um, right behind La Cantera. Um, so if you're visiting, this is probably a place you'd most likely want to stay. Um, so if you can see behind, there is in fact lightning going on. Um, so that's another beautiful thing about San Antonio is that the clouds are always constantly moving and they move so fast that you actually get to see it. It's cool because like for about an hour, 30 minutes, maybe an hour, maybe two or three, maybe all night long. As long as that's still moving and it goes over you, you'll feel it. But as soon as it passes you, you'll see it move to the direction it goes and the lightning strikes will leave you and then you'll see it go into another direction and all that like you see kind of on this side you know it's not much but that's moving constantly here's here's one of the beautiful views it kind of looks like it's like italy right so yeah i just thought i might show you it might pass over my house so if that's the case get ready to see some lightning strikes oh man i'm loving this Woo! And then over there in that direction, down the road, probably like a four minute drive, is the Palladium, or the Palladium, depends on how you say it. Right over there is the Bash Pro Shop, so if you want to go fishing. But at the Palladium, it's a movie theater, has IMAX and, you know, um, it's just one of its own movie theaters. There's AMC around, and then there's also AMC uh, inside the city. So hopefully I can get some shots of you of the river walk and everything. All right, y'all, I'm hoping I can get a great shot. 
I really want to show you just how amazing these lightning strikes are. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I heard it. I just like, it just, the moment it struck, you just hear it. This is so great that I was explaining this to y'all earlier and I happened to have lightning strikes. y'all so enough with the lightning strikes which are amazing but you know you can only get like so much of it so now I'm gonna show you what the palladiums like I'm probably not gonna go inside but uh, I'm just gonna give you like a view from the outside so let's go check it out all right y'all it's like super super windy <laughs> that's what I mean. That's how windy it is. Okay, so um, yeah, so storms get pretty hectic like once in a while, not all the time. I'm gonna take my hat off for now because I I love my H E B hat. Okay, it's got my Texas flag and everything. This is the Palladium. Um, this is in fact where Alaria and I took our picture. We. So this is the first movie theater we went to with each other to see The Last Jedi, horrible movie, or I forget, it's, it's the last Star Wars movie, I forget the name of it, that's how bad it was, I don't even remember the name. So yeah, and as I stand here, I'm kind of storm chasing, so, oh it's getting like super windy again. So anyways, that'll last about like an hour or so, maybe two, from the storms, from the look of it, from the looks of it, the storms look like that. Yeah, it looks bad on film, but when you live here and you see this, like weeks on end, it'll be just sunny. Uh, most of the time, it's always, always sunny. But then, some weeks, like all week, this week, it'll rain. At night, I don't know why always at night, But uh, I love this. I, this is awesome. I could just park my car here and sleep in the thunderstorm. So. Alrighty. So to end this part of the video off, we're gonna head to the HEB Plus. This is the part of the video that I wanted to save. You know, to really put a lot of importance on and to really focus on HEB because it really is an amazing company. You know, it, I, I'm battling right now because I want to go to the Air Force so bad, but then I think about just how amazing HEB is, and I'm like, man, do I really want to leave San Antonio? Or most importantly, do I really want to leave HEB? Could you imagine just having a job that's so great that you're like, could I really want to, like, do I really want to leave this job? And then, like, thinking about how amazing San Antonio is. So I'm hoping and praying. God's will be done. I'm going to try the Air Force and I'm praying that they keep me in San Antonio. If not, after four years, I'm transferring like there's no tomorrow living here. Aside from that, I'm going to be talking to the ops leader and she's very, she's like the second highest position in that store. I'm next to Scott, who's the unit director, who's the big boss of everybody in that HEB. Unit directors are very important and ops leaders. So this Sunday, I'm gonna to talk to her about a career development plan and telling her, you know, where I wanna go and then how I wanna reach corporate. You know, just keep that in prayer. And if I make it a corporate, then oh my goodness gracious, $100,000 plus a year salary. I just, blows my mind, blows my mind. Anyways. Can't think about money like that. I love the job. So let's head to HEB Plus. See y'all, this is what I mean. Like, the storm got heavy for like 20 to 30 minutes. And now it's going away. I came home in the middle of making a video in HEB for y'all. Because I thought it was going to get crazy and it didn't. So now I have to go back 
like tomorrow or the next day and uh, continue recording which is okay because this is a video series yeah I'm pretty excited about it like I said the storm is moving that way so it did pass over and now it's continuing on so that's cool well, my baby's doing fine and uh, well we'll see what happens next hey y'all so crazy thing happened as I was making that last video that you just saw, as I entered the HEB, it kind of got hectic with the storm. My cousin called me, kind of said, hey, you know, kind of be careful, be safe. And so, you know, in that, I was like, you know what, all right, I'm gonna head home. I can always make the video another day. And so that date will be today. I think that was uh, two days ago, one day. I don't know. I mean, I'm always working daytime and then nighttime. So I kind of don't keep track of the days. But anyways, that's okay. So for the next video that's coming up on part four, it's gonna be HEB. I'm gonna be going around explaining like the store, the prices, what I really admire, what I really love about HEB. So thanks for sticking through. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all and peace. <laughs> Run.